In our panel today, we're going to share with you some um, views of how we um, women uh, work with men. So, um, as women, we work with men in different roles. Um, the first role is um, reporting to men. So, my first question here is, um, when reporting to men, what is your advice to women in terms of uh, setting expectations and um, uh, achi uh, highlighting achievements? Hi, I'm Seema Najjar. Um, for, so for reporting for men, I actually um, usually do it through clients because I have my own business. So uh, I report to me. Woohoo, good for that. <laughs> So basically, uh, we, I don't report to men, but um, I do know that if you're um, my sister, she reports to men. As long as you're professional, as long as you're, you know what you're talking about and you highlight the, you know, what you're doing in a very clear manner, you will be as equal as men in that field for me. For, in, in my experience of what I see from other women working uh, reporting to men in this field. What do you do? Um, so we work in various roles, uh, obviously. One of them is leading a team, and in a male-dominated field, most of the team will be men. So what's your advice for women in terms of um, motivating the team, delegation, giving feedback, and recognition? That's a long question. <laughs> um, walking in a, working with, uh, with men in any field is difficult, but in the media, it's a bit more difficult mm -hmm. than um, any other field. Uh, the reason being um, you have many uh, creative people who uh, do not like to get told off and who are extremely sensitive and uh, who do not want to feel uh, um, um, that you're pushing them to the limit because they know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Why do you have to tell us everything? Um, but over the years, um, I've learned to, to um, make a mix between my female side and my male side, which I cannot ignore. Mm. So, yes, you have to be um, in a male environment area uh, that is dominant. You have to be decisive. Mm -hmm. You have to be straight to the point. You have to be strong-willed. You have to be um, uh, a no-nonsense nonsense person but you have to be kind and compassionate and understanding and asking about the wife and kids, <laughs> you know? So um, between the two, it works. Where, where, when it comes to um, um, your employees and the female employees who, who want to, you know, take steps into their career, it's, it's, it's very nice to be a woman because I feel what they're feeling yeah. and maybe I can give them the push they deserve to, mm -hmm. to, to make them make it there without having to prove themselves 100% more than they should. <laughs> yeah, thank you. That was amazing. All right, so um, apart from uh, leading men and apart from um, uh, reporting to men, we also work uh, uh, as uh, peer colleagues to men. So um, how... Uh, what is your advice to women in going about uh, asking for support and also fulfilling a supportive role? Hello, I'm Gloria and I hope you're all happy because that's the most important thing ever. So for me, I believe when I speak to a man or a woman, I believe we're all human beings with feelings and frustrations and fears. A woman has a role in life. We become mothers. Men Come, become the providers in nature, etc. So when I interact with men, and if I need support or I need to give support, I don't consider the male part, I just consider the human part. So I understand if it's a person coming from Saudi Arabia, the reaction will not be the same as it's coming from London. So it's about compassion, like my colleague here was saying. Just be compassionate. If somebody's going to come to tell you, do it now, you're going to know that either he has a problem with his tooth or maybe he needs to generate more money to bring it to his home, so he's in a bad mood. It has nothing to do with you. So we women, we know we're great because we all are, not just women, women and men. We all are marvelous creations of God. So let's just do our thing, 
with compassion. You know your gifts and your talents. Go for that and share. Share the joy that you have, that you're growing, and seeing the best in others. So if it's a man that comes to me and tells me, do this now, and he's screaming at me, I will just know that there's something that he's going through, and I'm not taking it personal. So what I say is, just be compassionate and kind, and know that everybody needs that kindness. Thank you. So um, the next question goes to uh, uh, Mr. Tarek. Um, uh, as uh, your role in the CEO Club's networks, um, what's your advice to CEOs when it comes to empowering women in the organization and ensuring a comfortable environment for them that is fair as well? Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, I'd like to congratulate the organizers for arranging such a good uh, uh, platform uh, for the women. Uh, regarding the question, uh, uh, my CEO club organization is uh, more than three decades old, so we have learned a lot from our members of more than 16,000 worldwide. Uh, to my advice to your question is that we were so uh, inspired of the successful women, especially where we are sitting in this, in this region or in the UAE, that two years ago we launched a CEO club business women division. And the main focus was that to, to bring those uh, successful women, uh, the expats and the Emirati women, to bring them forward and, and let, the, let the other people know that how successful and how hardworking those people are and then recognize them. So my advice always from our platform is not only in, in this part of the world or other part of the world that is that there is no difference. Uh, a CEO is a CEO. It could be a, a, a man or a woman. Is the performance, uh, is, the, is the talent, uh, is the commitment and the vision of, uh, and, and the mission that they are following as a company, as an individual, that is very important uh, to us. So I, I believe there, is, there should be no man or woman. They should be judged by their performance judged by their judgments and, and, and their results because in the end of the day we all expect some results and, and, and we all have to meet something so in a personal and in a business life so I think I personally believe there should be no difference uh, uh, and, and we as a, our platform we always supporting the, the success stories and, and promoting them and recognizing them through our platform yeah As you know, uh, women in male-dominated fields face a lot of uh, stereotype judgments, um, uh, negative views of expectations, and um, a lot of underestimation of our skills and abilities. Um, what is your advice for women to handle that when, when somebody goes and bluntly um, underestimate our skills? What do we do about that? The most important thing uh, I would like to respond here is to un for women to understand that when you're working with men, you're in a way working with aliens. <laughs> it's for them, the two genders are wired so differently by you're God. Speaking, you're speaking about the men and you are a man. Yes, I mean, it's, it's understanding that two different, we come from a different planet. For us, a workspace and a personal space are two different planets. Mm -hmm. When it comes to women, it's actually the same. They're processing of thoughts and emotions. Is, 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 is leveled, but when it comes to men, it's more straight to the point. When it comes to work, if, if someone, when I'm at work, if someone asks me, what did you do over the weekend? It takes me 20 seconds to remember <laughs> because I'm so tuned on to that because I'm in that planet at that stage. I think the most important, and but again, at the social gathering, if someone asks me for a work question, I'll have to go back, think, and then answer it. I think understanding the difference between those two wirings of human nature, of men and women. So what would a woman answer to the same questions you were asked? What were her responses? So spot on, you know. Um, if, 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 I, if you ask a woman, what did you do over the weekend? Oh, I went, to, I went, I went shopping with my, with my family. For a guy, um, what? That will be a standard answer. Really? Exactly. The, why would they, um, when someone who's, uh, you know, who's, um, um, is very di diligent and uh, is trying so hard at work to achieve something, if he's a man, they would say he's ambitious. If she's a woman, they would say, oh my gosh, she's bushy. 
again, I think what I think our, through generations we've been trained to believe that women are complex. Well, but, we are, but uh, but I'll tell you <laughs> if you nice actually <laughs> go on to the flip side of it, it's the same level of com complexity actually if you, because I defined the two multiple characteristics, yeah. two different planets that a man plays a role in. That means their level of complexity is one layer deeper. So we all focus on understanding, oh, let's try to understand women, you know, and we've got books about it, we've got jokes about it. Yeah, w but when we say that if you want the job done, give it to a woman, I'm sure you have the same thing that you say about us as well. Uh, I mean, but but the the theoretically, um, it's the case. But in actual circumstances, if I'm asked to give a job to someone, I would not say I'll give it to a woman or a man. I would say who's up for the job. But would you consider the same concept? It's just who's up for the job? Or, oh, no, it needs a lot of hard work. Let's give it to a man. I have a very simple <laughs> answer to that. <laughs> uh, I have a very simple answer to that. Uh, my company, 95% of the employee are women. My new chief operating officer of our new operations in India is a woman. It's not about, uh, as, as Dr. Tariq said, it's not about who does it. It's about efficiencies. It's, and it's about who can do it better. So. Uh, we have our ups and downs, and we have our complexes, and we have our PMSs, and there you have our emotional stresses. We have so much to handle and deal with. but. A woman who's capable of running a family and taking care of the kids and remember the medication um, time for her mother and remember the, um, uh, the bills that need to be paid and remember all the dates that her husband forgets and doing the job at the same time, that makes us quite special. It does. Uh, it's a very simple thing. If you look at the word woman itself, it's got more men than a man. There you go. <laughs> It's, it's a simplistic answer. I just want to make a one comment uh, uh, with all due respect, you know, that what is the woman means, W-O-M-E-N, that means well-organized men. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very good one. <laughs> Thank you. So, um, speaking of uh, men and women differences, I'm going to quote um, uh, from um, John Gray, the author of the book Men Are From Mars and Women Are From Venus. He published an article about tips for women who are working with men. So, um, I'm going to quote two of them. The first one is, display your awards, certificates and degrees on the wall of your office. Display pictures of you with successful people or involved in different work projects. If a man shows interest, describe your success with a tone of confidence. And the second one is, when you are in meetings, graciously interrupt in a group of meetings. Don't say, can I say something? But instead, go with the flow and say something more friendly like, that's true, I think, and then say what you want to say. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>